out of it when you smile at me you will never have to be hi guys welcome back to the channel if this is your first time of seeing this channel please subscribe and don't make it your last and for the returning subscribers thank you so much today's topic is things you might be doing that can actually ruin your relationship everybody wants a beautiful relationship we all want a happy relationship but there are certain things that we do that can sabotage that beautiful relationship that we crave for and these self sabotage acts are sometimes unintentional because we don't know we are even doing them until someone actually points it out to you or you sit down and do a bit of reflection and you realize that oh this is what i've been doing so in order to build a beautiful relationship you have to be able to identify your you know shortcomings your bad sides work on them in order to ensure that your relationship blossoms and these things doesn't affect the relationship or happy relationship that you actually crave so let's get into the good stuff number one if you are constantly confiding in others about your relationship that is one thing that can actually end up ruining your relationship now let me explain that better i know sometimes we have best friends want to talk to them about what is happening or if you feel down want to call somebody or if your partner is annoying you want to just call you know someone else to talk to the danger about this is that you end up telling this person this third party your your partner's bad sides because trust me when you are reporting your partner you're not reporting the, the positive characters or the positive sides of them you're reporting their negative sides and when you constantly do this it ends up making you your, your partner look a fool because the person you're talking to will see your partner as a bad person and eventually because they want to show they care for you they might give you some advice that will be to the detriment of your relationship at the end of the day also sometimes people we talk to you can't see the hearts of men sometimes the people you talk to or confide in they don't have your best interest at heart and they might want to just give you the wrong advice to just see you fall so if you are constantly confiding in somebody or people about your partner stop doing that secondly not settling issues and also keeping grudges i know some people will be like oh if the partner doesn't come to apologize i'm not going to apologize but if your relationship is actually more important to you than your ego then you have to learn when to apologize and actually say sorry because um, it doesn't take anything from you to apologize now some people will offer an apology but they keep a grudge I don't know why if you are constantly keeping grudges what it does is that it makes you you know you're hurting and your partner may not even know that oh you're even keeping a grudge and they just move on or eventually they notice and it makes them start hating you not because they want to hate you but because that attitude that behavior you're exhibiting makes them hate you or dislike you and it leads to you know so many other problems in the relationship so if you are someone who doesn't know how to apologize or you're constantly keeping grudges or even have a note where you write down their wrongs stop it also selfishness love is caring love is giving you can't be in a relationship or be in love with somebody and not say you want to you know gift them now um when i say selfishness i'm not even talking about giving alone some people are emotionally selfish not just you know materially alone if you want to be in a relationship with somebody you have to remove that selfishness it's no longer about you alone it is about us there is now an us it's not about you 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 or you alone you have to think about the other person before you take certain decisions ask yourself how would this person feel or how would this person you know react if i did something like this you know all of these questions you need to ask yourself don't put yourself first alone. You know? consider your partner think about their feelings before you do certain things and also give learn to give because when you give it shows in fact when you give it shows that you actually love the person it doesn't have to be elaborate expensive gift it could be as little as you know chocolate on your way back from work a book that you think they might find interesting to read give to them gift giving is an act of love so practice it and avoid selfishness number four 
not standing up for your partner this is the fourth point if you don't stand up for your partner then you're actually doing your relationship a big disservice you're going to ruin it your partner is supposed to be your person they're supposed to be your your g like you guys are a team so you don't leave them out in the cold or just leave them out when there's a problem you have to always have their back even if you feel like oh they did something wrong still support them out there in public when you get back home you talk about it and let them know where they went wrong not leaving them out in the cold is going to show them that okay you have their back you support them you care about them so if you see people tearing down your partner or saying hurtful words to them or trying to make your partner feel like you know they, they don't know what they are doing you're supposed to stand up for them you're not supposed to join forces with the outside world to you know bring down your partner it's not good the fifth point is for going intimacy and um compliment a lot of people are guilty of this one they feel like once they get the girl or once they're in a relationship they can just relax let go stop doing all the things they did to attract their partner in the first place but that's the number one way that you can actually ruin your relationship because trust me the reason why you're with this person is because you are doing certain things that made them attracted to you all these things you were doing was what made them decide to say okay yes i want to be with this person so imagine you stop doing all of them it makes you feel like you were a fraud you just wanted to do it to get their attention you never you know where that person you didn't mean everything so in order to keep your relationship alive and keep that fire burning you have to constantly do the things you did to win their hearts in the first place don't stop going on dates don't stop complimenting them don't stop giving them hugs don't stop buying them gifts don't stop telling them i love you yes your actions might show that you love them but how about saying it Sometimes people need to just hear that you love them. It's so reassuring when you're con when you are constantly, you know, telling your partner that you love them, you love them. It doesn't take you up to five minutes to even say you love them. Don't stop all of these things. Build that intimacy. Now, when I talk about intimacy, I'm not saying the sexual intimacy alone. You know, there are so many types of intimacy. There is recreational intimacy. Do activities together. Have hobbies together. Do things that makes you happy together. And bond better as a couple. Because the moment you stop bonding, you stop doing all of these things. The moment you stop giving them compliments and telling them how much you love them, they start feeling like maybe you don't. Especially for women. So I hope you're going to practice all of these tips that I've given to you. And you don't let anything ruin your relationship in conclusion in order to avoid ruining your relationship don't forget i mentioned you should give compliments don't forget intimacy don't be selfish because love is giving and love is caring think about your partner don't consider yourself alone always think about your partner then avoid confiding in other people do not confide in outsiders about your partner no matter what also learn to settle issues as soon as they come up don't leave issues to you know fester and until it becomes a huge problem and also stand up for your partner you're a team you're supposed to work together don't work against them always have their back and support them always thank you so much for watching today's video and don't forget to subscribe and also comment see you in my next video bye